What is up guys, MJPB back again once again and um, today we're going to start off with a little team recap. So we're going to go right in to the team recap and um, you will have heard that uh, we have had a team change which is obviously why I'm doing the team recap in the first place. Um, so as you can see we have a new member to the team uh, it's Mavis, the Melodic Gift, which we got for the uh, the Drift Bell rival. Um, that's been trained all the way up to level 39, and it's holding the Scope Lens. Uh, it has Aquatail, Recover, Surf, and Blizzard um, for those pesky Dragon types in the next gym. Uh, this is our second newest team member, Sir Rosalot, which is the Rose Raid Gift, which we got from the Undella rival. Um, and I trained it up 10 levels to level 42. Uh, it has Venoshock, Mega Drain, Magic Leaf, and Sweet Scent. Um, I can't really teach it any better moves at this point. Um, I'm looking to get. Uh, I'll, I'll probably use some Heart Scales. I'll go back to Drift. I'll use some Heart Scales. And um, hopefully get Toxic as well. Or something along Poison Powder or something like that. Um, so that is our second newest team member. You may be wondering why we have a second new team member, because as you did see, we lost our Tornadus to the Cobalion last episode. Um, and when I have finished the team recap, you will uh, discover who else is missing. Um, so, obviously we have Japan, our level 45 Pupitar, with Sandstorm Budos, Dark Pulse Rock Slide, and the Eviolite. Um, we have Giga Havoc, the Electros, level 45, with Aquatel, Thunder Punch, Discharge, Crunch, and Leftovers. We have Herculania, level 45, the Heracross, uh, Brick Break, Shadow Claw, Close Combat, Aerial Ace, and the Rocky Helmet. And then finally we have Snapper, level 45, Icy Wind, Faint Attack, Crunch, and Iron Head, with a Focus Sash. So, as you probably would have noticed, um, We are in fact missing our Medicham um, because I was looking through the God Pokemon of this playthrough and uh, I found out that Cabalion was in fact a God Pokemon. So unfortunately our Medicham is also dead. Um, I'm kind of disappointed because I was kind of relying on it for the next gem with its Ice Punch. So that is why I've brought in Mavis with Blizzard, and hopefully we can get some nice boosts off that. So I s Mavis still needs a bit of training up, um, and we finished by getting to this person, and um, so we're going to carry on here. Uh, we do get a couple of encounters in this episode, and the Verizian, I believe as well is coming up in the next route, uh, so this should be all good. Um, I'm hoping that this Durant does not kill my Milotic on the first battle that did over half, so I'm probably going to swap um, into... hmm, don't really have anyone here. So going to Japan because I want that experience, so it can be a nice and beautiful Tyranitar, uh, which is one of my favorite pseudos to be fair. I'm not gonna lie. And um, my friend Gaming Greninja has also got a Larvitar on the X and Y Wonder Soul Link recently. Um, he's very oh okay yep. Bye. No experience for you. Luckily you're immortalized now, so it's all good. Um, God damn it. Uh, let's go into Heracross then, and we will brick break you to hell. Die. Bye. Now, luckily for us, there is, in fact, a... You have another Pokemon? Oh, I thought you only had one Pokemon. Oh, man. Okay. You have a 47 Lucario as well. So this is close combat, and hopefully... Do this thing in one hit. Yeah, we're done, Heracross. MVP. No, I'm joking. 
the MVP has to be Electros, no doubt about it. But we do get another level, and you finally want to learn a bug type move, Mega Horn. Um, hmm. Do I keep Aerial Ace? Because I don't have a flying type. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Aerial Ace for now. Um, might teach it back later instead of Brick Break if we get um, towards the Elite Four. Um, I also need to generate our Grumpig in for the Cabalion because that will be a nice and powerful Pokemon um, straight in with the level gap for us. So there is actually someone in here that heals you up in one of these three houses. Then we can get our encounter for uh, the route before uh, this place and the next route as well as the Verizian encounter. So healing up nicely right now. Um, so we'll head back to the next route, uh, to the last route. Sorry, can't head back to the next route. That would be that would be rather awkward. <laughs> Let me head back to the next route. Um, no, we're not doing that. We are going back to Route 12 for our first encounter, which is a Ludicolo. Okay. Um, I don't mind that. That's not too bad. I'll take a Ludicolo. It does have some grass type moves though, so I will be careful with that. So uh, let's see if we can catch it. Let me just go for a blizzard. That was nice and powerful. Sea bomb. Oh, really? Okay, don't be too much, please. That's fine. Rain dish. Okay. So I actually have the TM for rain dance. So if I could actually pick you up, that would be really, really nice. Um, so your nature power is a seed bomb at the moment. So if I go into my Marwar, which I believe has over 100 HP now, hopefully it does, just about. 101. Hmm. I'm getting intimidated off. It's going to heal up. Not by a lot though. Really not that much damage though. Another bit of rain dish. And then I'm gonna... I'm just gonna crunch. Oh, the game's lagging because it's randomized. Great. Okay. So after this, uh, Mega Gen Boost and Rain Dish Boost, I should be able to crunch again, I believe. So we'll do that. I should take it down to the grid. Just do that. Um, and then I can throw an ultra ball here. Yeah, and again, definitely lagging from this round one, two, three, cool. Right, um, and I believe, hmm, what am I going to call this thing? I think I am going to call it... I up the Molo. I up the I up the Mulo. So I up the Mulo goes into the box, and now we can carry on. Through here, and there is actually some grass down by the village bridge. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just ride our bike through at the moment. And we'll come down here. 
into this lovely patch of grass. And we find a Wynault. How fun. Right, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna quick ball this. Um, and hopefully that will do the trick. Because I really don't want to be in battle with this thing for too long. One, two, three. There we go. So we got our why not? That's nice and easy. Um, I might possibly use that uh, if I ever evolve it, because Wobbuffet can be quite a good Pokémon. And in remembrance of Titars, I will call it W. So they're all going into the death box I think because that's the last box I had open um, but we're finally going to make some proper progress in this episode now and let's get on to route 11 so we are going a bit in circles I'm just going to heal up with a lot of potions there we go so now, um, so we'll fight these people because Mavis needs some grinding of her own. And we're not against an Amalgra, unfortunately. So we will go ahead into Japan. Um, if you guys are wondering what Pokemon we will be receiving for the Re Verizian, if we manage to catch it, it is a Beldum. Um, I recall a couple of episodes ago that. We failed to catch a Beldum, I think. So this way we will, we will be getting our Beldum um, for a nice and powerful pseudo in Metagross. Um, so yeah. Um, one thing I will mention now. Uh, a, a Let's Play that I will be doing. Um, not for at least another five years or so, um, four, three, four, five, but it won't be for a while anyway is what I'm trying to say. Um, I will be doing an all-star elimination lock of the Pokemon we have used in previous Let's Plays. So are you joking? So anytime we Anytime you think a Pokemon stands out um, in the Let's Plays that has actually been used in the Let's Plays, so obviously um, the Wynaughts, which we just caught, uh, will not be a part of this selection because it has not been used in my team. So anyone who I've used in my team, or yeah, anyone who I've used in my team, um, and will and you think have been good in helping me get through the Nuzlocke even if I end up losing at the end um, you can comment the Pokemon's name down uh, with their nickname and I will put them up for the All-Star Elimination Lock um, I will probably end up doing quite a lot of these elimination locks um, in the future I mean because in elimination locks you, you don't really want lots of Pokemon at the same time because that kind of defeats the object of it because um, if you guys don't know an elimination lock you normally have about 6 to 18 Pokemon um, so I don't really want to be having more than say 
18 in one of the in one of them. So I'll probably do 18 in each one, um, and that way every 10 let's plays or so, um, 12 to 18 of the original um, MVPs will come back in a different region and just boss it there as well um, I've already put down some of the ones which I think are suitable for this um, I also include my mascot in there um, I think my mascot is uh, my mascot is sort of the reason why I started um, YouTube in the first place um, but not all of it so uh, my mascot will definitely be in one of them um, in fact my mascot is in my next LP coming up the grass the grass lock for platinum uh, so that's coming up soon um, I'm hoping I can get to use my mascot in that but obviously if I can't I can't um, it, it'll all depend on the day eventually right so Let's fight this Virizion. Which, let me check, is not a god Pokemon, so even if I put one of my non immortals out, I'd be fine. So let me Megahorn. See how much that does. Hopefully, it doesn't kill. Should do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, there we go. So that's sort of the range I was. I was hoping for um, and presumably I'm just going to chuck some ultra balls down there one two three no way you're joking so I can't catch a Kabalion for 10 billion minutes but I catch a Verizion in 10 seconds are we being serious right now Okay, I guess I'm going to get a lot more done in this episode than I thought. Um, so I need Surf to get this item here. Please be a TM. Please be a TM. Please be a TM. Damn it. It's a full heal, you stupid. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is hopefully take on lots of the trainers this episode uh, but let me just get the final encounter in this episode which is a Miss Magius ooh okay I'm actually I'm liking this um, I'm really really liking this let me Shadow Claw I'm hoping I don't crit it Please survive. God. Oh, you stupid cunt. Obviously, I crit. Okay. You know what? Whatever. I didn't want to miss. So, we'll just progress through. Hopefully, do at least the first two trainers of the gym, maybe. Yeah, shut up, Iris. No one cares about you, you know? That's because you were once a gym leader here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I just want to go heal up. Sort out my boxes because all of my encounters and tokens are currently in the death box. Um, I don't really want you being there, do I? Iris. So I'd be grateful if you could just go in there and shut up. Thank you. Right, we'll see what this guy wants. How many medals do I get today? 30 boxed? Mads. So that's 
obviously not just um so as you can see um nice meta charm is in here which is a shame but it can't be helped so Ludicolo needs to be moved into our spares and we actually have once I've done the tokens off episode we will have 19 spare Pokemon just in case um, and you can go into the token box and I'll leave it on the spare box right so what do you have? nothing good I want TMs <laughs> TMs only right so um, am I right in saying I have to see him in his house first? no, ok guess that's only the original games I know you do end up seeing them in his house, but uh, so we'll start with Mavis. Um, hopefully, Mavis doesn't die because I just don't want that to happen. I do really like Milotic, and I do have some good water types uh, in the PC as backup, but I really just don't want to get rid of Milotic. I'm hoping that this could actually be the end game team so I might actually immortalize my my Lotic after this if it doesn't die at any point uh, and then in the next one I'll revive um, either my Tornadus or Medicham right so let's just go for a blizzard and I am nine levels lower Okay, that's not really what I wanted to see at all, and I do think that crit mattered a lot. Okay, that's not good. That is really, really not good. Oh. So I think off screen I'm gonna have to grind a bit. I'll probably face the trainers. Um, to the left of here because they have a hole out there uh, with a Rotom bit so I can change my Rotom as well into something which I prefer please have a lower level 49 that's a bit better <laughs> so I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to grind up to at least 47 on all of my Pokemon this is cool. There we go. So Blizzard is doing some good work right now. There's there's another level for uh, Mavis right there. And you also have a Drudigan. Okay, that's not great. Uh, Blizzard, why? You've wasted my PP. That's an absolute douchebag. Please kill him one hit, please. Oh no, and it swaggered me as well. I just don't want to deal with that. Oh. So I have one blizzard left. And I managed to take out the droid again. So that's all good. And I almost gained a whole level as well from that droid again. Nice. So I'm just going to I need all the experience I can get. So I'm actually gonna fight this guy on the right as well. Let me just find a PP restoring thing. Uh an Effa. Bound to have one of them by now. So that's fine, just the one. And let me fight this guy. And I might actually do the triple battles in here as well, and the rotation battles. Um, 
so we can just go straight into the gym leader in the next episode. Um, so yeah. Right, so, let's just hit the blizzards. Why? Why, why, why? Have you just done that to me? Blizzards, please. Right, setting up twice. So you have to land these blizzards. And one shot it. Otherwise, I will probably die next turn anyway. Oh no, you absolute idiot. Oh. Um, stuffed. Right, I think the plan of action here would be to go in to my fastest Pokemon, which is definitely Heracross, and just sort of uh, let Heracross die here. X Scissor. Okay, that's right, I resist that. And you die to the Rocky Helmet. Yeah, that's obviously what I was wanting to do. Not anything else at all. Um, and now we go back out into Mavis. And just keep on hitting them blizzards. Over and over again. Half damage, right? No, it did a bit more that time. Are we serious right now? Are we serious? Right, do I risk the blizzards? Yeah, I'm going to risk the blizzards. Because I know I can hit it. Because I believe in my Mavis. Good job. There we go. Right, so... Um, right. Right, let me swap into three immortals <laughs> right now. And move up a level. And we'll fight the woman on the left. Why not? Oh, okay, so your rotation. She's really the one I wanted to be first, but oh well. Okay, so you have an X U, which is alright. And there, uh, level 46 is that? That's what it looks like to me anyway. 48, oh dear oh dear, okay. So let me just Icy Wind. My special attack is pretty poor. My Marwal is faster than a Fractal. That's just embarrassing, mate. And you're using Taunt. And I'm, I'm now even faster than you. So do I go for another Icy Wind? Lower your speed even more. Hope you go for a Dragon Dance. And then kill you with an Icy Wind. Unless you rotate round. Ah, oh, you absolute cook. So that's, that's, n yeah, no. That is nothing. This shouldn't do too much either, though. Yeah, so that's alright. Let me Iron Head the Dreaded. Oh, not. Okay. Let me Iron Head the Axe Oh, look at that. That is perfect. So I was faster before. Um, I reckon I'm going to be not mm, faster this time. So Iron Head the Dragon, get the rough skin damage. Oh, that's enough. Dragon Claw will do some decent damage on my Marwar. Yeah, which isn't too bad. Iron Head, and the Axe is actually now faster than me, but its attack isn't going to be great. And now the Axe is dead. So that's one down, which is absolutely perfect. And now we're just going to swap myself, actually. Uh, 
and I think I'm going to Thunder Punch. And hope for some good damage. Nice. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Revenge. Not really what I was hoping for. Does a bit. And I got the leftovers boost. Um, so we'll just go for a Thunder Punch again. That will take the Dragon out. There we go. Nice and dead. That'll give you a bit more than the other one. I'll get the leftovers boost back into green. And then hopefully I'll be faster and I can take out the fracture. There we go. Nice. So that's that battle done. Perfect. So we now have one battle left in the gym before the gym leader. Um, and that'll be the end of the episode, guys. Um, so just a quick reminder to you guys. Do please write down any Pokemon which you think are worthy of being seen in another playthrough. Um, just put down your favourite Pokemon and I will try to um, get them into an all-star elimination lock in the next 10 LPs or so. Um, the next one, as I have said, is going to be the Platinum Grass Lock, um, but I do have um, a list of ideas of things I want to do next, uh, which I'll probably discuss in the next episode, so do be on the lookout for that. Um, because it is... Right, so... An icy wind then discharge them and bulldoze them because I have all the strats right now. Am I not faster? Icy winds, so they're getting slower. Nice. And then the bulldoze is gonna so we get the nice discharge, which does massive amounts of damage to my Marwell. Didn't think it would do that much. Then we get the Bulldoze, we get the double speed drop on the Dragoon. And it actually gets a D dance off, but it's the slowest one on the pitch anyway. And then, oh no, Dragoon is the slowest one on the pitch. Dragon Claw there. Leftover boost for the Electros. And then the Icy Wind here again. Um, and Discharge again. For damage. And we go Bulldoze here. So we've got the Icy Wind drop here. And we have a Dead Axe you. Bye bye. And we've got a Discharge, which will unfortunately kill my Marwar, but it can't be helped. And that takes them both down to red. We get the bulldoze, which should hopefully kill both of them. There we go. So it's a good battle, and um, we gain a level on our Pupitar, getting it closer to that lovely Tyranitar, which I am still waiting on. So that is going to be the end of the episode guys, I, um, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, uh, we've actually made a lot more progress than I thought we would, um, I will do some grinding off screen, gen in the Grumpig and Beldum for the Cabalion and Verizian, um, and uh, we will take on the Gym Leader in the next episode guys, so stick around for that, and I will see you guys in the next episode, peace.